Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel La Fisica Che Ci Piace where learning physics and mathematics it's amazing and it's faster as well. A couple of weeks ago we talked about physical quantities. Do you remember? If you wanna refresh, look here. Today I'm gonna do a quick video about scalar quantities and vector quantities. First of all, it's important to know that both of them are a form of measurement. Where they differ is that a scalar quantity tells you only the magnitude of that measurement, whereas a vector quantity tells you the magnitude, but it also tells you the direction. Let's look at a couple of different measurements now and decide if they are scalar or vector. The first is volume. Here we have two different glasses and they are filled with different volumes of water. Based on what we just learned, do you think that volume is a scalar or a vector quantity? Well, of course, we have a magnitude. But do we have a direction given? No, we don't. So that means the measurement of volume is a scalar quantity. As the last example, even mass is not associated with a direction. Well, like volume, mass is a scalar quantity. Let's look at the second example. Here we have a pencil. And this pencil has to move 50 centimeters. Do you think that displacement is a scalar or a vector quantity? Well, you know the pencil is gonna move 50 centimeters, but you don't know if it's gonna move 50 to the right, or 50 to the left, or 50 towards you, or 50 away from you. So, for this kind of quantity, you need to know the magnitude and the direction as well. This is a perfect example of vector quantity. I want to share with you a question. Look around you and think about quantities, physical quantities, that you can find very close to you. So, are they vector quantity or scalar quantity? Leave a comment below. Okay guys, see you next time. Bye!